and it it was so scary so scary oh my gosh hi guys oh my gosh I can see my face <sighs> hi guys sorry for coming on here looking like that but honestly I just had like a bit of an experience and I <laughs> was actually shedding some tears because I just came off the street. You guys would have seen where I recorded and I said that I was on the street and I was nursing. And then after that, I, I stopped by the consignment store, not once upon a child, I actually ended up stopping at a different consignment store and just basically drove home. How about I pulled up in my driveway and I'm just sitting there for like two seconds and I heard the baby crying and I looked back and the car seat was flipped over sideways guys flipped over you can only imagine me as a mom like I just hurried up jumped up ran into the back and it was it was just so hard like she was okay and everything but I'm like what in the world why did the car seat flip over and it was from what I saw it was it was um you know I don't know I feel like just the seat belt alone you know how the seat belt goes through and that's supposed to help secure it but then there's nothing holding the top, the front end, and I get it because they need to move for different reasons, but it just flipped over. And I made sure I fixed, when I put her in, I always kind of make sure I hoist the car seat and just make sure it's okay. I don't. My baby girl was flipped over sideways, basically just kind of like this. I went back and found her this way and it it was so scary, so scary. Oh my gosh, like just I came home and I took her out and I just you know ran and nursed her which is what I'm still doing but I was just in tears just thinking like I'm happy she's okay but what if anything else had happened you know oh I'm in shock this car seat that I'm using is the Graco Gotham one too it's got a lot of good reviews like it's not like anything I don't know. I don't see what's wrong with it. This The base moves a lot from what I'm experiencing, but I don't know the reason behind it. I don't know. I just really don't know. I'm just at a loss for words because now I realize too on my end that I bought this... Um, I bought this baby mirror before to be able to see her in the back. And it's kind of ironic because usually the girls are back there. Usually it's just the girls, myself and Michaela. And so there's usually three people, two people in the back with the baby and, and Michaela at the front with me. So it kind of never happens, I guess, because people are back there. But this time after dropping the girls, the girls are all at their friend. Like I told you, they're at ba band practice this time. It basically just did a flip because I guess no one was back there to kind of help, you know, hold it up. But when Aaron comes, I'm going to have him double check it again and just secure it. And we're going to also put up the baby mirror that we bought a while ago. So I just wanted to share this little message. And maybe, you know, if any of you guys are mom, just double check your car seat. Honestly, double check your car seat. Um seat belt attachment or whatever just make sure that your baby is secure because that is hard that's always like the biggest issue like I never want to travel with the baby alone per se I mean you have to do what you have to do she's really good and she sleeps really well in the car seat but it's a matter of like because no one's back there so installing this mirror is also another suggestion of mine I've had mine for a little bit but typically when I go to places but typically when I go to places, the girls are usually with me. So I never, you know, I guess it didn't prompt me to get it immediately because they're really good with her. But this time, this is probably one of the first, very first times per se that I'm traveling with her by myself and no one was back there to see that she was okay. So yeah, it's that middle seat too inside of our vehicle that has, like it just kind of has a hump. So it's not, I don't know, maybe if it's not completely flat or what, but she, yeah, baby girl was... Her car seat had completely flipped over sideways and I don't want any of I don't want that to happen to any of you guys because it is not a very good sight to see. I went over and basically saw my baby hung, hanging sideways. Very very crazy and I just thank God. Like all I can do is thank God that she's okay and you know she had her seat belt on and everything so thank God for seat belts because now you can see why and how important they are. Sorry for that stupid beep that you keep hearing too. It's a fire alarm thing that needs battery but now you can see the importance of seatbelt so yeah um 
I didn't take a picture. Sorry, there's not a proper, there's not going to be that thumbnail here because I, you know, I wouldn't want to post her like that. That's kind of crazy. And I'm not going to be like, oh my gosh, let me take out the camera and film my baby while she's busy, like, you know, being with you hoisted by a car seat because the car, the, the car seat flipped over. So yeah, very crazy guys. If you're a mom, double check your, your car seat, double check your car seat, make sure it's secure. And I would recommend getting that mirror that I'm going to have. I, I don't even know if the one that I have is the amazing one, but honestly a mirror so you can look back and glance at your baby, because if you can't see her, then anything can happen back there. And that was one of the last things. I, I mean, I've got the camera in case she spat up or she was crying. Never in a million years did I think the car seat was going to flip over. So that was very scary. Anyways, um, comment down below and let me know if this has ever happened to any of you guys. And it's not like I was even going fast. I was go I was driving and driving at a normal speed. I am not that driver. Like I don't speed with my baby. So that's kind of weird. And I don't even know how long she was like that. I wonder like, how long was she laying there like that? Did she? Did I drive the whole way home with her that way? Which I don't think, because I glanced over at her at certain points, but I don't know when she turned sideways. Like, that's insane. Oh, so scary. I'm so, like, it just breaks my heart. It breaks my heart to think that that was happening. She seems okay now. She's nursing, and I'm just going to keep a good eye on her and make sure she's okay. But... That's what's up, guys. I'm so, I'm so in shock. Yeah. You know, I don't want to come on here and make everything a video, but I honestly want to share it with you guys because I want you to just, you know, prevent it from happening to your baby or, you know, again, just double check your car seat. I want to share, I want to tell you guys because I don't want this to happen to anyone else's child. And from now on, I'm going to double check my car seat my baby's car seat and make sure that it's secure each time I go in there because honestly I don't know why that happened comment down below and let me know if you know of this happening to anyone I feel so shaky I'm all shaken up like talking about this because I was already having a bit of a bad day but mm.